Today, we are proudly celebrating our scientific Republic Day. The day is not just to commemorate the efforts of all those great souls, but it also reminds us of our duties to the citizens of India, to hold our laws and our constitution in high regards. Today, we, the students of class 3rd CND, are here to present a morning assembly on this auspicious day. Let's begin with the blessings of the Almighty. Everyone, join your hands and close your eyes to see God's blessing through prayer and hand. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we lift our hearts and minds to you in gratitude for the countless blessings which we receive every moment of our lives. Dear Lord, as we celebrate Republic Day today, we beseech you to bless our nation with peace, harmony, and prosperity. Guide and fighter, the diversity of our nation is one of its major strengths. To keep it safe, our country needed certain rules and laws. Let's see how it will improve. Go away, go away. Don't come near us. Why are you saying so? Also, are you a thing like us? But he is poor. Why does this condition? We all are in the after all. All must be equal. Yes, we know. You are right. We know. Of law to overcome this inequality prevailing. Yes, go ahead. We all are with you. The Constitution of India was framed by Dr. Peter Baker. Here we have framed some rights and duties for the citizens of India. Constitution is a set of basic rules and principles according to which country is governed. The Constitution of India was adopted on 26 November 1949. We as Indians are equal before 
of the day, Mother Regis, the Vice Principal, Sister Navya, and all my dear sisters who are present for today's function, the staff members of this institution, and my dearest students. 
Good morning to all of you. At the very outset, I would like to wish all of you a very happy and successful Republic Day. It is indeed my proud privilege to address the young and vibrant students of Carmel Convent School, Rathanpur, on this auspicious occasion of the 75th Republic Day of our great nation. And the momentous moment of the award ceremony of our luminaries in various fields, they were proved their abilities in the, the state level, the national level and international level. 26 January 1950 is one of the most important days in the history of India as it was on this day the constitution of India came into force and India became a truly sovereign state. It is on this day we, the Indians, solemnly received to constitute India into a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic and to secure all its citizens justice, social, economic and political level, liberty of thoughts, expression, belief, faith and worship, equality of status and opportunity, and to promote among them all fraternity, assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation. As it is indeed a great responsibility that every individual citizen of India has taken on oneself on this great day. It is our honor today to pay homage to the great leaders and our, of our country who led us to this noble occasion. We especially remember all those who have taken effort to give us a beautiful constitution and special mention is required here the architect of this noble work, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. India always had an admirable place, a rich heritage and a vital role to play in the history of mankind. As we have already heard from the Kambara, the noble words of Mark Twain, the American author, India is the cradle of human race, the birthplace of human speech, the mother of history, the grandmother of legend and the great grandmother of traditions. Our most valuable and most instructive materials in the history of man are treasured in India only. Therefore, we should be proud of being an Indian. As we all know, modern day India represents the largest democracy in the world with a seamless picture of unity in diversity, unparalleled anywhere while acknowledging the unique contribution of the people of the past. It is our duty to groom ourselves to be responsible, upright and righteous future citizens 
and role models of the modern society in selfless service to humanity. Good students are great resources to themselves, to the society and thereby to the nation. These are the words of the, the celebrated words of Saint Chavra, the founder of CMC Congregation. I'm sure you have already inscribed these noble words in your mind and heart. So many times you may have heard also. Unfortunately, there has crept in some deterioration of value system and way of life that we had esteemed and held high for so many years in the past. It is a challenge for all of us, especially the young, to awake, arise and uphold the great principles noble attitudes and ethos to fight against social evil and corruption on account of distorted ideas and practices, Self selfishness and egoism, lack of respect for human dignity, the negative influence of media and advancing cyber culture. The change and transformation should come from within so that we can build up a strong nation rooted and grounded in integrity, morality, charity and fraternity. It is said our strength is in our unity despite our diversity. It is that unity which binds us together as a nation and it is the enthusiasm, energy and constant efforts of the people that make a country a great nation. Dear students, you are the young generation, the vibrant youth of today. Listen to the clarion call and come together and work resolutely for the welfare of our people and development of our nation and make India the best. Then we will be worthy to repeat along with Swami Vivekananda, the soul of India is my highest heaven and the good of the land is my highest good. This is also a day of celebration and recognition as we acknowledge and appreciate the prize winners of the day, their commitment, passion and perseverance have become fruitful and brought laurels to themselves and to this institution. We are here to congratulate and celebrate the spirit of excellence that each of them embodies. I appreciate their ceremonial presentation and also those students who organize the morning assembly, the third standard students, third C and D section, that is my right. So I appreciate their performance on the stage and other item like the group dance which was presented meticulously with precision, devotion, enthusiasm and zeal. My hearty congratulations to the young artists and the teachers and the principal who guided them. In conclusion, let us remember that the true spirit of our Republic lies not only in the grand celebrations and parades, but in the day-to-day -day actions of every citizen. I'm sure that the students who will perform the parade might be waiting for a word of appreciation from me. 
they have done remarkably well the parade though yes can be like and i can congratulate the students especially the ncc wing of this institution but we should remember that we should not do i mean just be satisfied with all the performance of today on the stage as well as on the ground but we should remember our noble responsibility to do to act for the betterment of our nation that is the duty of every citizen of india we have to play our part in a small or big way as we move forward let us work together to build a nation that is just inclusive compassionate and progressive let the flame of patriotism burn bright in our hearts lighting the way for a stronger and more vibrant india once again i wish all of you a happy and successful republic day thank you god bless jai hind jai hind jai bharat thank you sister for those wonderful words and is a token of love from kamal ratnapur family to our greatest guru reverend dr sister noel